tonight I am brimming with rare hope I am indeed brimming with rare hope the fight against corruption in Kenya is often and for good reasons seen as an exercise in futility most Kenyans and many of them are that including those in leadership throw their hands up in the air in resignation whenever it comes to corruption they say and they keep saying corruption fights back. They say the agencies tasked with the job are not up to it, and they also conclude that generally, those who are supposed to fight corruption long succumbed to the vice themselves. But I am hopeful tonight because the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, and related agencies like the Asset Recovery Agency are slowly but surely cracking the code by striking where it hurts most. The agency has lately been rather aggressively pursuing the recovery of unexplained and corruptly acquired assets. In the latest strike, the ESCC is seeking forfeiture of assets worth over 637 million belonging to a former official in the county government of Machakos. The agency says the official accumulated wealth in hundreds of millions yet his legitimate income was just about 16 million. The commission has obtained orders from the court freezing accounts holding about 11.5 million shillings as well as some vehicles believed to have been acquired through proceeds of crime. Before that, the ESCC targeted officials in the Isolo County government believed to have obtained over 58 million shillings through a grossly inflated procurement of a fire engine. Then there was a cleaning supervisor in the Correctional Services Department, you can call that prisons, who made over 257 million shillings through fake tenders for goods never supplied. Then there was a former KRA official whose who, who suspect assets worth about 278 million shillings got frozen. And then a junior finance officer in the Ministry of Environment, whose account containing about 22 million shillings, also got frozen. The list is getting impressively long. And I say it is sufficient reason to raise our hopes that the fight against corruption, especially because through asset recovery, Kenyans are starting to get a glimpse into the real extent of the stealing. Through the asset recovery efforts, the pattern of corruption is also becoming clearer. The pattern suggests a top-down conspiracy to defraud government and steal from the public. Court cases against corruption cases may have been painstakingly slow and sometimes ends with light sentences or even no consequences at all. This is why the asset recovery route is the way to go even as the wheels of justice grind on in the courts. For feature of assets is provided for under the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act 2003. The law provides that a public officer in possession of property whose value is disproportional to their non-legitimate sources of income shall be presumed to have acquired the property through corrupt conduct. Where ESCC reasonably suspects that a person is in possession of unexplained assets, it issues a statutory notice requiring the person to explain how they acquired the wealth in question. Where the suspect is unable to explain or give satisfactory explanation, ESCC files a suit and upon demonstrating to the court that the assets in question are unexplained, the burden of proof shifts to the suspect to convince the court and indeed Kenyans, that the assets were not acquired through corrupt conduct. Where the suspect is unable to satisfy the court, they are ordered to forfeit unexplained assets to the states. To the ESCC and the Asset Recovery Agency, 
go ye flat out. In asset recovery, the real weapon against corrupt public officials lies. That is my kicker.